Hey, good morning. What's up, guys? This is Big John with J Custom Builds. So, uh, I got the 2010 all stripped down. So, today I basically want to steam clean it. And it's a little grimy underneath and on the inside. I thought I'd steam clean it really good, but now that it's apart, I'm going to go ahead and do a, a better job on it and get everything off of it so that I could detail it the right way. I'm gonna have to use my, my hoist to get it out because uh, it's currently on a jack stand and I got this uh, rubber bottom piece right here for the, uh, for the garage door when it closes. But it was hard, I couldn't roll it over and the bike kept wanting to come off of the jack stand even when I strapped it down. But I had uh, shoulder surgery done, it's probably been a year and a few months. But you know, my shoulders still aren't that strong to be moving around heavy items and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, there's Sapphire. One of my current giveaway bikes. If you're new to my channel, my name is John Sandoval, and I just started building Harleys this year. I'm uh, getting started on giveaways. I purchased Sapphire in February, and I finished her in May, and she's just been sitting here. I got a couple of things that I'm gonna do now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get an antenna for the stereo because it doesn't have an antenna, but I'm gonna have to buy the whole setup for it probably like a hundred bucks or so and I was trying to do a giveaway before I did that to let you know whoever wins the bike do you know a couple things that still has the original wheels on it but brand new tires and uh, runs excellent and so I figured I would give whoever won the bike an opportunity to put you know their flavor on it put their wheels on it and whatnot but the bike is super super clean and so yeah that's what I'm doing building bikes and doing giveaways and I decided to give one of my personal bikes away which is blue and then I'm uh, building this current uh, 2010 Street Glide with 28,000 miles on it. It had some engine work on it. It's got straight Vans and Heinz pipes on it. And uh, I'm excited, man. I'm really excited for this build. Um, can't wait. And I want your guys' input. I have three different exhaust systems for it. I'll put that up in the, in the video there so you guys can see them. I have the Vans and Heinz, um, just straight pipes. I believe they're like slash cut. And then I have a forget what the brand is, but I have a two into one, man. That sounds great. And I was thinking about putting that on there or go ahead and doing a brand new, uh, a true duels on it. So, um, I was either gonna go Vance and Hines or, or, uh, Reinhardt's. I'm not sure. Anyways, I want to get your guys' input on that. And then I wanted to get your guys' input because I'm getting ready to order the forks for it. I had ordered some polished forks, but I didn't like the ones they sent me. So um, I talked to the, to the guy. I'm going to go ahead and send them back. And I decided to just get chrome or just go powder-coated black since the bike is going to be pearl white with like a greenish, bluish pearl in it. It's going to look amazing. I'm going to get started move that out of the way because I need to get to that hoist back there so I can steam clean this uh, 2010 frame. Simmons with the new, uh, the new jack. And I'm like, man, what jack 
bash. Cool. You know, the bike actually is not real, real bad, but you know what? I don't like building a bike with uh, soot on the bottom, you know, from oil leaking and just from the tranny and whatever. I just don't like that stuff, man. So I am uh, gonna take it out and steam clean it. And when I think it's clean enough, then I will, uh, I'm gonna go wash my eyes, just in case. All right, guys, ready to go. Here it is guys, after I steam cleaned it, because of the tarp up here, you can't really uh, get a good view of it. But I steam cleaned the heck out of this thing and uh, I believe it's much cleaner than it was before. Now I'm just gonna plug in my compressor and uh, flow everything off. I don't like leaving water on the bikes at all. You know, people may say, oh, well, why did you do it? I mean, it was already clean to begin with. You had already steam cleaned it. Well, I had everything on it when I did it. And so I wanted to just get the frame and just get it super super clean if you're gonna build a bike don't leave no dirt on it don't leave grime on it you know steam clean it get it as clean as you can get it especially if you're gonna do this so now it's a uh, pretty clean paints fine I like black and so I think the black is gonna pop really good with the white pearl I get this thing all blown off and I'll get a, a video of it after all right guys so it's all steam clean I'm just gonna finish blowing it off I don't want to I don't like leaving water inside of any of the uh Okay guys, so this is a uh, post uh, steam clean or pressure wash. Again, you're not getting a lot of sun because of the tarp above, but man, I think it came out pretty good, pretty dang good. So I, uh, I blew it all off with the air compressor, got all the water out of everything, blew all the uh, electrical connectors off, and so the frame looks great. It's real clean all over now which is exactly how I wanted it to be. So you gotta make sure that if you do pressure wash a bike like this, you just blow all the connectors off really, really good. You wanna get all that water out of everything. You know, and cover up stuff that you don't wanna get water in. Definitely helps so you don't get uh, water inside of stuff and then you end up getting a short in your bike or something or blowing fuses. So anyways, it came out pretty good. I'm gonna remove all in here. I'm gonna polish all that chrome off and clean up the frame. I'm probably gonna end up replacing that rear uh, master cylinder and then again getting these powder coated and cleaning up everything really really good got to get in here with some chrome cleaner again i'm going to change all these bolts out but i'm gonna clean all this stuff up yeah this bike was definitely dirty and uh it looks 
just a whole lot better now. It's all cleaned up in there. You can actually see everything. Anyways, I'm gonna take all these parts off, detail it up really, really good, and then I'll start putting it together. It's gonna get painted uh, pearl white with that nice Acura pearl inside of it. It's gonna look great, man. All right, so I totally detailed the whole frame, the whole bike, all underneath. Took all the brake lines off. Decided to do a complete new brake system on it. And uh, that came out as good as I can get it without having to like buff everything up. But you're not even gonna see any of that stuff. The back wheel's gonna be all buried inside. So took everything off. Gonna replace the kickstand, kickstand spring. The shift linkage, gonna replace that. You know, other than the engine and transmission and all the wiring and the, all the electrical, I mean, electrical's 20,000 mile bike. I mean, electrical's brand new, no issues with it. Everything works. It came out excellent. Uh, hey guys, it's been a long day. So I finally got the bike done and uh, I'm gonna get ready to put it back on the stand and tear the hoist down and everything. And, oh man, I'm beat. I had to sit down. Anyways, uh, if you're new to my channel, my name is Big John with J Custom Builds. And I started my business this year um, actually building Harleys for giveaways. I've been building them now for about five years. And uh, I built one for myself. And uh, I bought one uh, 2019 Road Glide, brand new, back in 2018. And this is my first build, Sapphire, right there. So I'm uh, building Harleys and I'm doing giveaways. This is my first bike. I'm giving away uh, one of my personal bikes, 2007 Ultra Classic with all the bells and whistles, stereo system. I went through that entire bike. The only thing that I haven't done anything to was the uh, wheels. It does have new tires, but I didn't uh, change the wheels on it. I was kind of waiting to do that. I've been looking for specific wheels, but I just decided, you know, I'm trying to build my business. I love the bike, there's nothing wrong with it. It only has 18 original thousand miles on it. I'm the second owner and it's an, it's an amazing bike. It runs excellent. I, it's a stage two. I just bought an FP3 for it and did a, an entire uh, tune on it. I was actually gonna get it dynoed, but I mean, it's perfect, man. It's got the perfect power, it runs excellent. It's not running hot anymore. This is the fourth tune that we put on it and it's, it's, it's the best tune so far. So, the bike that you've seen earlier in this video is the 2010 Street Glide. So basically this bike has been stripped down and I'm rebuilding the whole thing and I decided to paint it pearl white like the uh, the new Acuras have on it. It's a beautiful, beautiful pearl. Um, and after I get it painted, I'm going to ceramic coat the paint. And then uh, I ordered chrome forks for it. I was going to go black, but I just decided to order the chrome one. So I'm rebuilding the forks as soon as they get here. They'll be here like mid next week. Um, I really like for my subscribers if, if you guys don't mind give me some thoughts on what you think I should do to the bike You know recommend seats uh, if you guys uh, are gonna enter the giveaway um, I believe this bike right here is just I mean Sapphire is my first build. She's amazing I believe I'm gonna leave the stock wheels on it um, The reason for that is you know wheels are something that everybody kind of has different uh, styles People have different styles on their wheels, their bars. Um, the bars that I put on there now are inch and a half LA choppers. They came out really, really good. Um, they're already complete. Once I get the forks on it, then I'm going to put the bars on them and put the wheels back on it. Um, I stripped it down today. I, you know, took all the old floorboards, the kickstand, everything off. I'm going to replace. I'm going to go through everything. I don't just go through certain things. Everything I take off, I go through it. And if it needs new bolts, if it needs upper lower needs a new part whatever i go through everything so whoever gets these bikes are getting some really top quality bikes i just want your guys's input on what you guys think if you guys uh, want to see me do certain things to the bike or if you guys are cool with the uh, pro white give me your thoughts on that i think the pro white's gonna look great with a black frame black bike and very little chrome accents the forks and the exhaust and the handlebars so um other than that if you're new to my channel and uh, you like my content, you know, I got some other videos out there. I got some tutorials uh, so far on changing the rocker switches on uh, the lower fairing. I've done a set of handlebars already. I'm going to be doing tutorials on the forks. When I put everything I put together on this bike now, I'm going to do tutorials on it. I actually did a tutorial. Well, not a tutorial, but I did a video today of me actually 
pressure washing the frame and blowing it all off. I usually blow everything off because I want to get everything off the bike. I don't like leaving water in any of the holes, any of the ports, any of the chrome, any of the bike, the frame, anything. So I literally blew that thing completely dry. Um, other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. And uh, again, if you uh, are new to my channel, I build custom Harleys, two that are already complete for the giveaway, Sapphire back here and uh, Blue, which was my personal bike and uh, Street Glide that I'm currently building now. So if you guys are interested in winning a bike, $100, just go to my website. Uh, the details are going to be on the bottom of this video. You can purchase yourself a hat and that's your automatic entry into the giveaway. And I'm currently selling for $100, and I'm trying to sell at least 300 hats right now. I got a lot of money in these bikes, got a lot of time in these bikes, and so I'll be delivering the bike uh, directly to them personally. It's going to be professionally transported, picked up from here and transported to your location, and then I'm going to meet the uh, transporter there and deliver the bike personally. Yeah, and there's a second place cash prize and a third place cash prize, but the first place is going to actually have the option of picking Sapphire pearl or uh blue other than that you guys uh thanks for watching i uh, really appreciate it like and uh share and subscribe if you know anyone that really wants to win a harley doesn't really have the money to buy one outright i think this is a good way to to, to get a bike a good quality bike built by me personally uh share it subscribe and uh i look forward to making another video for you guys all right thanks a lot have a good evening and god bless